Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. Today I'll be playing Behind the Door, which is actually a game that came out on Steam around two weeks ago now. So if you want to buy and download this, I'll leave the link down below in the description. It's quite cheap. Now, in Behind the Door, I will be playing as a skeptical detective who goes into an abandoned house hoping to investigate a series of grisly murders. I think several teenagers were killed in this house. And uh, yeah, I think that's the gist of it, to be honest. Now, um, according to the Steam reviews, this isn't going to be the best game in the world. <laughs> some are very positive, some are very negative. Uh, I think overall it's quite mixed. So uh, I don't really know what to expect. It might be really bad, it might be really good. It might be somewhere in between. Probably, probably somewhere in between. But either way, hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Hello, John. You could already hear about this mystery house near the city. This is going to be good, isn't it? Uh, three bodies were found there. Rumours say that those people were killed by ghosts. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Very creepy. <laughs> but we both know this stuff doesn't exist. Anyway, John. Dead, don't talk. Your work is to find out what really happened. Ah, oh, that's why I'm sceptical, I suppose. Right. Good luck, John. Thanks. Okay. I think this is a, a Russian-made game, or if it's not Russian, it's Eastern European, so expect a few translation issues, I think. And maybe crashes. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, here we are. We got there in the end. I think I actually... I, I pressed skip. Maybe that was what got me through it. Maybe it doesn't automatically go into the game. You have to sort of skip through. Okay. What's that? W-A-S-N-D? Oh, it tells me how far away my objective is, does it? Alright. Sure, so let's see. Can we jump? No? Crouch? Apparently not. We can definitely run and move, though. Okay. Press E. Okay, sure. The door is nailed, apparently. Alright. Where did the... Okay. <laughs> the objective's over there now. To be honest, I quite like this tutorial system. Let's see. Something to do with the rocks? Oh, yeah. Okay, I've grabbed a rock, and now where's it going? Alright, okay. Come back. <laughs> What's that say? Wait, 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 wait. Listen, but no, get out of the way. Listen before you lose a head, I think. Press I. Okay. Oh, we actually have an inventory. That's a nice surprise. Sure. Uh, the rock. Yeah. Oh, I see. Great. Brilliant. And what is it? F. Yeah, F for flashlight. That's pretty cool. It looks like we do have a bit of a battery situation. So yeah. Okay, and it's E to use doors, apparently. That's uh, that's the way it seems. Press to save your progress. Okay. Press what? <laughs> Press something. Press against the barrel? E, Q, left click, at F? No, that's the, <laughs> the flashlight. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to save this early anyway. Right, okay. Right, so we've just added another item to our inventory. What exactly was that? Uh, it's an old rusty pipe, still harder than wood. Okay, is that... Oh, that's probably to get <laughs> get through the uh, the wooden plank of the door, isn't it? Is the uh, is the battery level going down as I'm in the inventory? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe. Can I use this as a weapon or anything? I guess not. Right. Hang on. I found some batteries. There you go. All right, you know what? So far, it's not as bad as I had sort of envisioned. So... Yeah, take that as you will. What's this? Nice place for repairing, apparently. Okay. Wait, do I want to repair the pipe or something? Or maybe I need to attach the pipe to something? Make a, a proper weapon out of this? Maybe I want to save. Something like... It keeps sparkling. <laughs> I think that might be the barrel, though. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's just leave. And let's try using the pipe on that plank over there. Alright. What's that say? Where is your god now? Well, probably not in this house. Right. I must uh, sort of remind myself not to keep the flashlight on, because I don't know how many batteries we got. Let's try using the inventory again. Okay, so... Yep. <laughs> it didn't lie. It's harder than wood. <laughs> and we can go in? Yes, we can. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it seems that the flashlight is sort of automatically turned on when you enter a new room, so... We'll just have to keep an eye on that, I suppose. Um, okay. Let's see, what have we got over here? Anything? Ah. Oh, so I can use things even without any icons or anything. 
What does it say? There are a lot of books, but none is readable, or are readable, I suppose. Okay, hang on. Hey! Ooh! Where do they come from? I don't care. I, f <laughs> I found some batteries either way, which are about to run out, actually. The knob is wrapped with rope. Okay, can we untie the rope? I don't suppose I have that pipe anymore, do I? No, okay. <laughs> so it's it's harder than wood, but it, it still kind of breaks. Uh, yeah, alright. So what have we got here? I've got a strange feeling about this thing. Why? A lot of empty alcohol bottles, alright. Anything down here? Shit, apparently! Oh, shit, it stinks very bad. I see, I see, alright. Anything up here? Is that... That might be a candle or a can, I'm not sure. Probably a can, actually. Can we open the cupboards or anything? Oh, yes. Oh, hang on. We have a two. Yes, a two. And, um... My batteries have been, like, on really low health for a very long time. But I've still got the battery? Oh, I see. Oh, oh okay, so the batteries are... My, you're right, my flashlight's still going to work, but the batteries are just the brightness of it. That's fine. Okay, anything else? No? Doesn't look like it. Just sort of spamming E over everything, to be honest. Shit again, yep. Yeah. Okay. What did I just pick up? Was that a cup? It's a mug or something, right? Yeah, a mug. I can fill it with something. Water, I take it? Can we use the sink? Can we... Let's see. Uh... No. Or maybe it's something else. I don't know. Maybe milk? Yeah. Shit, it smells bad, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah. Let's see. Get out! Where does this come from? Oh, am I like... I guess I'm searching the drawers and pulling out what I find and, and putting it on top. So, uh, yeah, get out. Alright. Boxes, no. Right. I think I could easily move it, do you? How'd you do that then? Maybe from the other side? Oh, yep, yep. There you go. Just over there. Yeah. Not the worst game in the world. Yeah, I think knowing how the battery situation's going, I think I'll just keep my flashlight on in, uh, like, a really dim light if necessary. Hang on. Got some batteries here. What's this? Hollowly. Hollowly? Okay. Sonorously. What? Hollowly and sonorously. Wait, so there's... I, I'm taking there's something in this one and not the others. Is this what we... Hang on. Is this what we need to fill up in the mug? It doesn't work. So I guess not. Okay. Fair enough. What's this? Okay. We're, right. I thought we were going to have a look inside it. Apparently, we're taking the entire damn thing. A toolbox. Screwdrivers. Hammers and so on. Brilliant. Can we just use it on its own? I guess not. I guess we need to use the toolbox for something specifically. Okay. <laughs> quite a uh, quite a basic game, but it's okay so far. Believe it or not, this is actually made on the Unity engine, which I do maintain is actually a very good engine. It can just be so very easily underutilized, let's say. Anything on the shelf? No? We don't have a look at that book. I guess we want to go upstairs, right? <laughs> yeah, this is actually pretty solid. Apparently it doesn't take too long to uh, finish this game, so don't expect a, uh, a series out of this. The door is locked, and blocked by the looks of it. But apparently I can't... You know, I can't use a pipe on it like I could the one at the front door. Let's just uh, come back to this a little later, I guess. Whoa, look under your feet. All right. <laughs> what have we got here? Wait, what did I just pick up? It looked like a wooden board. A ladder part. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. Oh, okay. Missing part. Not for long. So... Oh, oh, so we've got two. Use it there. No, it doesn't work. Okay, does that go... Right, that must go down there then, right? Uh, yep. Yep, there you go. Okay, and I need to... Oh, of course, the... Yeah, the shed outside. That was a perfect place for repairing, wasn't it? I have to fix it somehow. Well, i got a toolbox. Screwdrivers, hammers, and so on. I guess I'll be going out there in a moment. I guess uh, we'll have to wait before we go up there. What about this room? Okay, it's unlocked. Alright, what do we got? I see more batteries! Oh. <laughs> and it smells bad. Don't even want to know what's inside. No, pick up the batteries! Oh, there you go. Got a bit of a leak, apparently. 
Oh, what we got here? Okay. Wait, what's this? Oh! Should I really reach down that toilet? Oh god, what did I just pull out? I dread to think. <laughs> it's, a, it's a crowbar. How the hell did that go down there? Bloody hell. There are other ways to get rid of a crowbar. Flushing it down the toilet. I've <laughs> never heard of anything so silly. Why do some people read while on the toilet? Don't know, actually. I've never uh, never taken to that particular habit. Alright, nothing, uh, nothing on the table or anything. Can we open any of the sacks? No body parts of, of teenagers or anything? I guess my investigation has kind of started. This door is locked on the key. Okay. Don't exactly know what that means, but I, I guess the door is locked, so we can't really do anything about that. Can we maybe use the crowbar? It doesn't work. Of course it doesn't. Okay. All right. No problem. No problem. Um, let's see. What about... Oh! That wasn't me. And that actually kind of scared me. It was cheap, but I didn't mind it. Okay, what have we got in here? Nice little sort of study area with some really ugly wallpaper. What's inside? A couple of books. A few books, nothing interesting. Well, why did you pull them out then? <laughs> Hang on, more batteries. That I'm probably not going to use because I think this is good enough as far as light goes, really. Nothing in that one, no. In the drawer? Ah, here we go. What was that? I saw this painting on the first floor. Yeah, I think I did actually. Next to the kitchen? Another place to save my progress. It still doesn't tell me what to press. I... I don't care. <laughs> this is going to be a one video thing anyway. Nice artwork. <laughs> okay, what about in here? Nothing in there? No? On the shelves? I don't think so. In here? What's that? That looks like a torch or something, maybe? Oh, hang on. Oh, no. <laughs> of course. It's a fuse. All right. I haven't found a fuse box yet. I'm sure it's just a matter of time. Um, yeah, okay. Well, let's go downstairs again. Before I go to the shed... Yeah, down here. Before I go to the shed, let's have a look at that painting. I haven't really been looking at the paintings. There was one here as well. Okay, nothing funky with that one. Where was it? It was over... There it is. What was that? Was that me? Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> Ah, here we go. Hey! Found myself a key. Oh, is it to the door upstairs by any chance? Wait, why did you... Why did you skip one? <laughs> I guess something very special is reserved for that spot. A key. It's designed to open doors. Okay. Glad to know we're on the same page. Let's maybe go upstairs and, uh... Let's see if that opens the door, shall we? And why not? Let's reload some batteries. So it was this one, right? Yeah, okay, so... I? Is it only I? Can we have, like, tab or anything like that? No, it's only I. I don't really like I as inventory. It, it's in a lot of games, but I prefer to move it over to WAS and Z, really. Um, yeah, let's use the key. We're in! Brilliant! Okay, what have we got in here, then? No... Nothing. <laughs> Wait. What? Smash then? The lights in the room or my flashlight? Because I can't seem to turn it back on. I'm moving around, I think. I, ah, here we go. Right. Rising all over the walls. Death, death, help me. All right. He saw you. Oh dear. Alright, oh, okay, we've got a load of stuff on here, apparently. We've got a box. Oh, I need a code. How do I do this? Do I... Oh no. Ah, oh, okay, just use the mouse, apparently. Fair enough. Alright, well, it's not 0600. Alright, what do we got here, then? Let's start at left and work right. Looks like it's a bathroom. Okay. A kitchen? Oh yeah, I can see the kitchen. Oh, that's... Oh, that was pointing to the drawer that had the two on the door, I think. Yeah, that's it. The, the, the cupboard door. Um, arrows show at the roof. And then unclear. 
Right, these would be the numbers that would unlock the box, I take it? So, hold on, let me just sort of write this down. So first off, it's the bathroom, then it's the kitchen, and then... Well, it says that... What does it say? The top of the top of the house? Yeah, the, the show at the roof. So I guess it's, you know, the attic, up that hatch, up that ladder. So, okay. So we know the, uh, the kitchen is two. All right, I'll have to have another look at the bathroom, I suppose. All right, let's see. Nothing funky about that painting. Can I reach in and find something in there? No. What about in here? Too late. <laughs> it's already been searched. Okay. What was that? Nails, I think. Yeah, again, skipping this section. A box full of nails. Brilliant. I think I pulled that out of a, a non-existent drawer. Strange. All right, well, I think that's pretty much it. Nothing about the window, no. What about this one over here? No batteries. Okay, well, let's leave. Let's leave. And let's let's go to the bathroom again, which is this one here, isn't it? So there's something on it. Let's reload. There's something in here, apparently. There it is. There it is. Right. Oh, yeah, of course. It was pointing sort of to the mirror, wasn't it? So, hang on. Yeah, five. So it's five, two. Five, two, something, something. So we've narrowed it down to about a hundred possibilities. Always good. Okay, so... Yeah, the next one. The next one in the sequence is actually in the attic, and I don't think I'm getting up there for some fucking reason. I guess I can't skip a run. My legs are really short. <laughs> I never really like that in games. Horror games do it frequently, but they, they create like minor problems you have to solve that don't really need to be solved. They could be sidestepped. This is just one of those things. So, yeah. Let's go out again. I presume we can do that. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yep, over here. Let's see. What about this barrel? Is this sonorously or hollowly? <laughs> just, a nasty, just an old rusty barrel. Nothing special. Okay. And this one here? It's pretty much buried. Trash bags? No. Yeah, it's a real cesspool. I agree. Hmm. This is almost Wooden House 3, or Autumn Dream 3, or whatever, you know, it's almost like a follow-on game. But it isn't actually as bad. This isn't too bad at all. Right, nice place for repairing. Let's hope so, because we need to repair this, don't we? Right? Okay, how's this work then? Missing tools. No, no we're not, no we're not. There you are. Missing, okay, missing nails. Well, good thing I picked them up then. Okay, so, is that it? Right. And that's it, isn't it? You used all the nails, you used all the tools, but we have a new rung for the ladder. Oh dear. Alright, back we go. Looks like we're going into the attic next. So, as far as my investigation goes, at least at the moment, uh, I haven't really found any conclusive evidence or anything like that. I still have no idea what happened to these teenagers. Okay, here we go. Forget that message. We've already looked under our feet. Let's add the rung. There you go. Right, now. That looks perfect. Can we go up? No? What? Oh, I see. We have to uh, we have to use the ladder. That makes sense. Right. Quite dark up here. Let's see. Alright, what have we got in the boxes? Oh, batteries. Great. Alright. What's that? Oh, is that eight? <coughs> there we go. Is this one of the teenagers? Apparently killed by ghosts. Shoot! <laughs> That's what stinks. Yes, shoot. You say shoot now, but you say shit earlier on. Eight. So there you go. All right, so the bathroom's five, the kitchen two, and the attic is eight. I don't know what the last one will be, but maybe it doesn't matter. I guess I can just sort of plug stuff in and one of them will work. Got some paint over here by the looks of it. Uh, was that gasoline that I saw? I think it was gasoline. Yep, gas can. It, oh, it's empty. Right, well, one of those barrels isn't hollowly, so <laughs> maybe it's uh, maybe there's gas in that barrel. Nothing in those boxes, no. Okay, what about this book? Ooh. How is it still on? Didn't that just smash? Whatever. <laughs> I'm 
it, it's strange. I'm seeing where some positive reviews are coming from, and I'm also seeing where a lot of the negative reviews are coming from. Yeah, let's go down. Let's go down. <laughs> and look straight at the damn wall. So, right, in here. Let's see if we can open this box. I'm curious now. Okay, so... Let's see, it starts off with the bathroom, I take it. We're sort of following the uh, the pattern of of the papers on the table. So, yeah, five, two, eight, and then, is it zero? No? One? No, this might take a while. Do we need to press E? Oh, no, no, we don't. Okay, I guess it was, I guess the last one was five or six. And, oh, my cursor, it won't go away. Hang on. There you go, sorted. Now, let's see. What was that? Is that a lighter? Sounded like it. Uh, lighter. Yeah, it's still working, apparently. That's it. Why did you keep a lighter in a, a combination box? What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Although, I suppose that we, we've still got that problem with the, um, with the doorknob downstairs. Ooh. Nice touch. Can I have a look at it? No, it cannot. Oh. Was that me? Oh, damn. I, all right. That sounded wet. It sounded like it, it was sort of squelching footsteps there. Then again, this place is a cesspool. Yeah, so over here. Do we need to burn it off? Is that it? I mean, I don't know why we can't unwrap it, really, or, or, or cut it. Let's grab that toolbox again. But let's try, let's try burning it. Yeah. It doesn't work. No? Okay, um, can we try, just crowbar it? Yeah. It doesn't work. Okay, what else have we got? We've still got this mug that I can fill with something, but I don't know what it is. Still got a fuse. Where the hell would the fuse box be? I haven't seen any of that. What's in there? Maybe the fuse box. I guess it'll be down in the basement or under the stairs. Uh, right. Well, yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's go outside. Let's see if we can fill this gas can up, right? It didn't work with the mug, but it should work with the, uh, with the can, I would think. There you go. Did I do it? Yep, a full gas can. Fantastic. Now, um, this is a pretty radical idea, and it probably would get me killed in real life, but I'm actually going to try and, uh, <laughs> pour gasoline all over this door. <laughs> yep, I think it worked. Okay, now can we light it? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, that's definitely the most effective way of getting through a door, isn't it? Ouch. It's too hot. What? Seriously, you just burnt the fucking handle and now you're complaining that you burnt the handle. Kick it. I don't know, use your sleeve or something. You big baby. Come on. Ah, oh, hang on. That crowbar, right? I have a strange feeling about this thing, but maybe I won't when I open it. Oh. No? Oh, I suppose this doesn't have an icon like all the other things. Um, alright. They're empty alcohol bottles, right? Okay. Alright, so I need to cool that down in some way. I've got a mug. But I can't use this... Right, if I can't use this sink, maybe I can use the sink upstairs? I guess I just need to splash it with a bit of water, something like that. So, around here. Uh, yeah. Uh, not coming up with an icon, but I'll give it a try either way. Well, I didn't say no, so... No, I can still fill it with something. So maybe I've got the right idea. Is there another sink? Ah, uh, why did I flush the toilet? I could have used toilet water. Or maybe I still can, although it looks like it's pretty barren down there, to be honest. Probably don't want to be putting a mug into a toilet anytime soon. <laughs> or the cistern. Yeah, yeah. Try it. Yeah, try the, the tank up here. No? Got a leak. Right. Can put it here? Oh! That's actually kind of cool. But... I don't know why the others wouldn't work. Right, is that enough? It's only sort of dribbling down, but sure. <laughs> Alright, don't smash it. I think we need this water. 
Yep, filled with cold water. All right. Well, that's going to get us through the handle then and through the door. Bloody hell. Hopefully there's something good down there. This isn't that bad, you know. It's almost like a puzzle game. You guys enjoying it? All right, so here we go. The cold water on the handle. It should have cooled down. Can I use the handle now? Okay, thank you very much. Right. Ah, it's not just an under-the-stairs cupboard. It is a basement. Of course it's a basement. It's a horror game. All right, let's see. I... Oh, I changed the batteries and I'm seeing a pentagram on the floor. That's always good. There might be some uh, credence to this ghost thing. I don't know. What about these books? Oh, more batteries. Great. Uh, no. I don't care about the books. I don't care about the barrels. I do care about this, though. Looks like it... Oh, does it cover something? Maybe it does. Ah, it does. It does. Hang on. There you go. Push it out the way. Oh, is this where the crowbar comes in? Maybe. Tightly nailed. That shouldn't really be a problem. There you go. Right. So, oh, hang on. Wait, I dropped it? I dro <laughs> Pick it up again. Come on. <laughs> Don't make me do all this busy work. It, stop throwing it on the floor. I guess they were really tightly nailed. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Can we, uh, can we just go... Oh, right. Just crawl through the hole. Yeah. Huh. Can we go back? No way. I won't come back. Now it's probably wise. All right. Oh. Wow. It's the fastest cave-in I've ever seen. <laughs> All right. Not going this way by the looks of it. Here we go. Huh. Yeah, this isn't actually so bad. The door is littered. It's very basic, but I can overlook a few of the, you know, design choices and stuff like that. It's, uh, it may be someone's first or second game, really. I think the studio that made this is, you know, only comprised of a couple of people. Can I? Yep. Yes, I can. I can pick up the shovel. And what have we got here? Ah, it's too hot. Ah, oh, damn. I, I think I'm out of cold water. <laughs> Still got a fuse, of course, as well. Right, so there's the shovel. Yeah. I don't suppose I can do anything with this, can I? No, and I can't... Yeah, I can't walk through. It's an invisible barrier at the moment. So this one... Yeah, I can't go through. This one over here? It says something about being littered. Yeah, the door is littered. Do you mean... Ah, you do mean down here. Brilliant. Okay, so the shovel comes into its own. And we're through. Yeah, it's like a puzzle game, but it's a very, very simple one. Right. For the pipe? For the steam? I hope so. Okay, nothing here. I don't want to take any bricks or anything. No fuse boxes? No? Can I undo this? No? Alright. Out we go. Maybe the fuse box is down the end of the corridor. Is it this way? I think it's this way. No, I definitely can't go in there. I can't clear this. I... Yeah, I've dropped the shovel. It's just the fuse. Right. Here we go, then. Oh, what? Am Is there a stamina system in this game? Good luck, John. Thanks. Okay. I think this is a, a Russian-made game, or if it's not Russian, it's Eastern European, so expect a few translation issues, I think. And maybe crashes, I don't know. <laughs> Press to save your progress. Okay. Press what? <laughs> Press something. Whoa, look under your feet? Alright! Let's see. What about- Oh! What's inside? A couple of books. A few books, nothing interesting. Well, why did you pull them out then? Okay, what have we got in here then? No, nothing. There's something in here, apparently. There it is. Nothing in those boxes, no. Okay, what about this book? Oh. How is it still on? Alright, whoa! Wow. It's the fastest cave-in I've ever seen. 